All right, boot campers, video three of three for the how to. So we just talked about how you're going to start this. First, you're gonna take out all the, the emotion. This is a business transaction and a numbers game. You're gonna to talk to as many people as you can. And the second video was how you're going to approach them in a hurry. You're going to give them a sincere compliment and you're going to invite them to look at your recruiting tool with the phrase, if I would you, okay? So now you've thrown that out there. If I were to send you some samples, would you have some time that you could try them and give me some feedback? Now, what's gonna happen is they're gonna respond and they're gonna respond three different ways. First, they're gonna ignore you. Do you have anything that you've lost with them ignoring you? No, not really. In fact, you've saved money because you just didn't blindly mail out stuff to everybody, right? So they're just gonna ignore you. Oh well, keep moving forward, okay? Keep moving forward, keep moving forward. The next is gonna be a negative response. It might happen, it's okay. It's okay if it happens. What are you gonna do? Keep moving forward, okay? Sorry, I'm not interested. Sorry, I don't have enough time. Sorry, I already tried it and I don't like it. Great, thanks for getting right back to me. I appreciate your time. Have a great weekend. You reply back with a thank you, thanks for your time. Keep moving forward. Now, the response we're hoping for is a positive one, right? Great, thanks for getting back to me. I'm so excited. I know you're gonna love these samples, okay? So it's a positive, positive response. So this is what you're going to do. You're gonna get a time commitment from them, which I think is brilliant. And this is something that I try to teach my girls to do because they'll say, I'm too scared to call somebody to follow up. So I'm gonna side note really quick. When you ask somebody when you can follow up or when you make an appointment to follow up, it takes the pressure off of both sides. And then you have to follow up because you told me you were gonna do it. So this is super brilliant, super easy step, super important. Don't skip this part. So they say, yes, I want your packet. I want your tool, whatever. So you say, I will mail it to you. You're gonna be very specific. I will put it in the mail tomorrow. You should get it by Thursday. If you get it by Thursday, that will give you the weekend. If I call you on Monday, would that give you enough time to try the products? Does that make sense? I will mail it today. You should get it by Thursday. If you get it by Thursday, you should be able to have some time to try the products by Monday. I will call you Monday to get your feedback, okay? So then you repeat, she'll say yes, that sounds great. And then you confirm, step number two, confirm. Great, I will follow up with you on Monday because you should have had the weekend to try the products and be able to have feedback. So this verbiage is not word for word, you guys. I don't want you to sound like me and I don't wanna sound like you. So you get the idea of how, how this conversation works. You work on, this is your homework this week. You work on your words and your sentences on how you want to, to keep moving forward with this conversation, okay? So you're gonna say, you've created the time commitment. Two, you've confirmed, great, I will call you on Monday. So she's expecting you to call on Monday. Write that down on your calendar. Make sure you don't forget. You don't wanna call her on Tuesday or Wednesday. Call her on Monday. Be a woman of your word and do what, you're, do what you say you're gonna do, okay? Follow up with her. You've given her um, the education she needs and the product she needs to make a decision. Confirm. Three is you set a follow up. Okay, thank you, I appreciate, I will follow up with you on Monday. So you've kind of confirmed again, but you need to do it because it helps them have the mindset that they are going to have the time to set aside, to try the products, to read the literature, and that you are going to follow up with them. And then four, you end your conversation. You don't keep going on, you'll say, okay, great, let me know if you think you wanna join my team. You're just gonna end the conversation. Thanks, I know you're busy too, I'm busy, I'm walking out the door, I'll talk to you on Monday. So steps. Five, six, seven, and eight, the, the four steps we're talking about in this video really is the, the nuts and bolts of how this conversation works with your potential team member. You still haven't come right out and said, hey, do you wanna join my team? We're gonna let the tool, the recruiting packet, do the work for us. So I'll do a recap. They're either gonna ignore you, it's okay, next, move on. They're gonna say something negative, I don't wanna, great, thanks for getting back to me, I appreciate your time. Three, they're gonna be positive and want the product and then or the package and then you one get a time commitment from them I will mail it tomorrow you should get it by Wednesday and um, two you'll confirm if I follow up with you on Monday you'll for sure have some time to try the products over the weekend and then you follow up make sure this step it doesn't have to be separate sentences separate conversations these are just the three um, or the four steps you need to have through this conversation three you need to set the follow-up and, and ex Follow through with it. If you say, great, I'll call you on Monday, then really call her on Monday. Fourth, end the conversation with, great, see you on Monday. I know you're busy, I'm busy too. 
Talk to you then. That's it. Then you put that on your calendar, you talk to her on Monday, and we keep moving forward. That's it for today. Keep up on your homework. If you're behind, hurry and catch up. You still have time to catch up before we get into it. Bye.